Hello guys, I am Elias George from A Batch. So, today we will be discussing some basic concepts of clipper circuit and the types, different types of clipper circuit and its application. So, clipper circuit, there are other names for clipper circuit also. It is also known as limiters amplitude selectors wave shaping circuits and slicers and later we uh, we can know why it's known as limiters all this uh, other terms and where is the clipper circuit or what purpose we are clip, uh, clipper circuit using uh, the names are suggest we use clipper circuit to cut a part of the input signal so that we can get a new modified signal as required so it is used to remove the part of the signal that is above or below some defined reference level later we can know what is mean by reference level in this concept and the components that are needed for clipping are diode a resistor and the voltage source that is of course the uh, voltage reference it is not necessary and such a type that we will discuss later and the very most basic clipping circuit is the half wave rectifier we are not using voltage source there only diode and a resistor We can use or one of the application of the clipper circuit is to eliminate noise or we can modify a input signal as, as per our requirement. So before going into much details of clipper circuit, we know that one of the components we are using inside the clipper circuit is diode. So we want to know some of the basic concept of diode so we can quickly refresh that so basics of ideal diode we all know that diode can be forward biased and a reverse biased it is forward biased when it, when the anode is more positive than the cathode or the potential difference between the anode and the cathode is greater than zero. In that case, it is forward biased or in the case of the ideal diode, we can say that it is a closed switch or short circuited. Next, in the case of the reverse biased, we can say cathode is more positive than anode or the voltage difference between the anode and the cathode is less than zero. In that case, it behaves as an open switch. So forward biased, it behaves as a closed switch and reverse bias, it behaves as an open switch. You can see in the figure, when anode is positive and cathode is negative, it is just a closed circuit only if it is a ideal diode and if the cathode is more positive than the anode is just of an open circuit that is the reverse biased so there are two ways in which clipper circuits can be made that is series and parallel clipper circuits so why this series and a parallel we can see that in this figure we can see the diode is in series with the output voltage so this is basically a clipper circuit as the diode is in series it is known as the series clipper circuit can see that diode is in series compared to 
this voltage output voltage when the next figure you can see here the diode is in parallel with the output voltage so this diode is this uh, clipping circuit is the parallel clipper circuit so as per the position of the diode either it's by series or parallel we can have two configurations for the clipper circuits so majority of our confusion is this both series and parallel having any difference contributing to the output voltage so we can see that in the next slide now in this figure it is just tried in the LT spice in this figure the diode is in series with the output voltage so the output or the uh, uh, output will be like this as in the next figure the diode is in parallel with the output voltage so the figure will be like this so it is very evident from the output curves there is slight difference very slight difference in the output side here we can see that it is the output wave output curve is not as same as the input voltage there is slight difference in that it is because there is a resistor we are measuring the voltage output voltage across this resistor so there will be a sub drop it will not be as same as the input voltage but as in the second case there is no resistor we are directly measuring the output voltage across this diode so it will be like this we can know uh, we can know the other details how like it is forming this way we can see in the next slides so i am dividing this clipper clipping circuit in the some categories for the easiness of the approach so clipper circuits can be divided into two first one is without the battery or unbiased you can see what is battery and one is without the battery and the unbiased second it is of course with the battery or biased and next one is without the battery we can divide again into positive clipper and negative clipper and same as there also with the battery we can divide into positive clipper and negative clipper you can see what is positive clipper and negative clipper in the coming slides and in the with the battery positive clipper and negative clipper is there we can combine this positive clipper and negative clipper and make some other different types of circuits so I, I named it as a both okay it is a just a classification it is not uh, just for easy of easy approach I have made this it is not at the actual this way we are uh, uh, going this lecture that's why I classified in this manner please not so first we can see without the battery means it is unbiased and the positive clipper there is parallel as i earlier told parallel means diode will be in parallel with the output voltage and city positive and it is also positive clipper here we can see the circuit diode is in parallel with the output voltage and there is no battery in this figure only the input voltage and the output voltage there is no other type of bias and we have given the input as a side wave so this is we are getting so we want to describe what is happening in order for getting this output so whenever the input voltage is positive 
here we can assign this node as reference node and whenever this this node this a node is positive this diode here it will be positive and here will be it is negative so this diode will conduct if it or it will be forward biased as i earlier told if the diode is forward biased it is short circuited so what is mean short circuited so it is a one component we can remove this diode and we can connect a wire straight away so now it's, it's a single wire if this is a single wire this side and this node this have the same potential therefore v0 is nothing but output voltage is nothing but difference of these two that is zero so during the positive cycle we will get the output voltage as zero voltage in the positive cycle so every positive cycle the output voltage will be zero and next we are dealing with the negative cycle so let's see what's happening during the negative cycle this in the case of the diode this is the anode anode will be negative and the cathode will be positive so it is the short uh, what we can say reverse biased so this will not convex or it is a open circuited which means we can remove this entire thing so there is nothing here so only there is a uh, in volt input voltage so since there is no other components here the current will goes here to here as we told this diode is reverse biased this is completely short circuited we can remove this no, oh, sorry oh, open circuited we can remove this so voltage output voltage will be same as the input voltage in this case as there is no current flowing in this circuit so during the negative cycle the output voltage will follow the input voltage so two things discussed during the positive cycle this two this will be short circuited and the output voltage will be zero and during the negative cycle this will be open circuited and the output voltage will be same as the input voltage that is how the output waveform is formed so one more thing I want to discuss we can know that here the positive waveform is removed and negative is retained so we can say that we have uh, we can the positive side is cut from the input waveform so we can say it is a positive clipper which means positive side is cut away positive is clipped positive side is clipped okay positive that's why positive clipper so negative side negative clipper means negative side is cut away from the input waveform so and the input voltage is positive the diode conducts and it is behave a closed circuit so potential will be same at both points output voltage will be zero ideally here ideally means if we take this diode as an ideal diode when the input voltage is negative the diode don't conduct and behaves as an open switch so output voltage will follow the input voltage this is without the battery positive clipper and parallel next we are discussing without the battery again and now, now it is a negative clipper parallel again so we can see that as in the earlier image uh, it is correctly here zero but now there is a slight voltage here it is a this is the practical case earlier the before image we shown it for the positive clipper is just the ideal concept since i only get the image this image so it is the practical output waveform 
please mention please not okay so it is clipped on as the name suggests it is the negative clipper so it is uh, input waveform will be clipped or will be a negative side will be clipped away so here we can say that uh, when the input voltage is negative the diode no, we can say that input voltage is positive means this will be positive and this will be negative so that I have down context and the output waveform will be same as the input waveform and if t if it is negative and if this is positive means diode will context you know diode will not context no sorry if this is positive and this is negative diode context okay sorry and diode context and the V0 will be 0 e Ideally, it will be zero, but in the practical case, we can know there is a zero point, you know, some voltage across this diode, right? Yeah, that will be reflected in this case. If it is ideal, means it will be zero, or it will be energy gap that a zero point seven something that will be shown here. When the input voltage is positive diode context and it behaves as an open switch so output voltage will follow the input voltage when the input voltage is negative the diode context and it behaves a closed switch so potential will be same at both points output voltage would for would be zero ideal this is what without the battery negative clipper parallel next one is with the battery here we are now introducing the battery or the biasing and it is to mentioned that it is a positive clipper parallel positive clipper means it is clipped on the positive side so you can see that diode is in parallel so power is parallel and the positive clipper which means it is clipped on the positive side so here with the battery which means here you can see that there is a battery given here which is an independent voltage source and that is a positive biased because with respect to the output voltage here it is plus we are also giving the positive side of the battery is also plus with respect to here so it is a positive biased so in this case we can we can uh, go in detail as we can see this diode the cathode side v voltage is present if this node is zero if this is considered as the reference node here v voltage will be present this side cathode v voltage will be present and this diode conducts only if this anode voltage is greater than v Please note, in this case, diode conducts only if the anode voltage is greater than V. So, this is the our input waveform. So, please note the V voltage in the graph, in the plot. And we know that the diode conducts if the in, uh, anode voltage is greater than V volt. If the diode conducts means, so let's consider the input voltage is greater than V volt. No, oh, we can start from the first zero itself. Here, the input voltage is less than V. Here, this is the V. So, input voltage is less than the V. First, we can consider that case. If the input voltage is less than V, which means anode is less positive than cathode so the diode will not context so it is a open circuit we can remove this diode so since it is open circuit current will not flow through this path and there is only a input voltage resistor and output voltage so there will not be current flowing through this so the output voltage will be same as the input voltage so here it comes it will be same up to here and what if 
the vol input voltage goes above the B. That is the reference, but reference battery, reference voltage. In this case, the diode will conduct. If this conducts means we can apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law, and we can say that from here it is plus V zero and minus V is equal to zero, or we can say that V zero equal to V. So for all the input voltage. If the input voltage is greater than the V, the reference biasing, the output will be V, V reference. In this case, it is V. So we have started, we have started from here. Then for above V, it will be V itself. And for uh, as I already discussed, below voltage, it is same as the input voltage. So it will be continuing as this. So effectively, what have what we have done here? We have drawn a line on the V. Above V, we cut away. This much part of the input wave is cut. So we got this way. This is the output wave. So since the positive part is cut away. We can name it so we can call it as a positive clipper. This is what happening in the case of a with the battery, and it is the battery is positive biased, and the positive clipper parallel. Clipped on the positive side. When the input voltage is positive and less than the V reference, then the diode don't conduct, so the output voltage will follow the input voltage. When the input voltage is positive and greater than V reference, then the diode contacts and it behaves as a closed switch. So V0 is equal to V. V0 not sorry, V output will be, uh, will be equal to V. When the diode uh, input voltage is negative, then the diode don't contacts and it behaves as a open switch. So output voltage will follow the input voltage. This third statement is exactly a repetition of the first statement. I just added it out only sorry okay next we can move to with the battery earlier it was it was positive biased so we can look what if that it is reversed that voltage source is reversed we can see that what is it be happening in that case balance all the conditions are same only the voltage source is reversed okay so, as earlier it was positive above, now it made was uh, voltage source is reversed. Okay, so we can start from the zero itself. Let it be. Let this node be the reference node. So here the voltage will be minus V. Please note that cathode voltage of the diode is minus V. We can say that. If the cathode voltage is minus V, the diode conducts only if the uh, anode voltage is greater than minus V. So it can, for the, suppose the cathode voltage is minus 8, let it be let minus 8 be here. So the diode can conduct from all the positive values as well as above minus 8, minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 and all the positive voltage please remember that okay so we can see for all the positive values this diode contacts if this diode contacts by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law we can see that V0 from here, here V0 this diode contacts so it is a short circuit and plus V is equal to 0 so V0 equal to minus V for all the positive input values, input voltages. So if the input voltage is positive, our output voltage is minus V up to here. And what if uh, the input voltage is negative and greater than minus less than and uh, greater than minus V? In that case, also this diode context, as I earlier told, minus 8. 
if it is minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 then also diode conducts so v0 will be minus v so up to here or minus v up to here also it is minus v but what if the anode voltage of the cat diode is greater than minus v minus 8 minus 10 but in that case the diode won't conducts if it won't conducts means it is an open circuit so current will not flow through this path here we have only input a resistor and output voltage so output voltage will be same as the input voltage if and only if the input voltage is less than minus v output voltage will follow the input voltage please remember so this will be the waveform here so we can see that it is clipped or the both the positive portion is clipped and the negative side some of the portions are clipped since it is a positive i have mentioned please remember that also clipped on positive side and negative side when the input voltage is positive then the diode conducts and behaves as a closed circuit so v0 equal to minus v when the input voltage is negative and greater than v minus v reference then the diode conducts and behaves a closed switch so v0 equal to minus v second statement is exactly the uh, first statement please note that okay and the third one is the input voltage is the negative and more less than v minus v reference then the diode don't conducts and it will behave as an open switch so output voltage will follow the input voltage so i hope everybody understood this with the battery and what happens here means we have only changed the uh, voltage source so it is negative biased as earlier it was positive biased so that only the above voltage v above voltage will is cut away here but it is reverse bias uh, reverse negative biased here so minus v down this is the wave format output wave form next is the width of the battery positive bias negative clipper parallel so by uh, here the battery is there you can see the battery is here and it is a positive bias as i earlier told here it is positive so this positive here or we can say the diode is positive by here it is anode and it is positive so it, the battery is positive biased and it is a negative clipper so the negative side is completely cut away and it is parallel also diode is in parallel with the output voltage so we can see each each by steps so starting from zero and less than v this diode will context so let this node be reference node so here it will be v and this diode only conducts if and only if this the voltage at this and cathode of the diode is less than v it will be conducting if that conducts means this will be short circuited and by applying the kirchhoff's voltage law we can say that v0 equal to v if the voltage and this situation happens when v0 equal to v happens when when the input voltage is less than v v out will be v output voltage will be v you can see that when it is below uh, the uh, v it is simply as v itself and it is suppose another case what if the input voltage is greater than v so this diode will not conduct the output will be follow same as the input so this is how we got this wave format so we can see that it is clipped on both sides this is all what we now discussed next with the battery negative 
bias the negative clipper you know changing the direction of the voltage source so we can see is we can easily predict that this is the input wave and this is the output wave this diode will context so here it is minus v okay this is the reference and this is minus v and this diode will context only if and only if this is minus v if the cathode is less than the minus v this diode context if that context means this is the short short circuited so v0 will be minus vb by applying kirchhoff's voltage law we can see that v0 will be vb only if the diode context when the diode context if the cathode voltage is less than minus vp the diode context and v0 will be will v output voltage will be minus vb you can see that less than if the input voltage is less than minus vb then the output voltage will be minus vp whereas all other cases the diode will not context and the output voltage will be same as the input voltage this is only here happening so it is we can see that it is clipped on the negative side so it is the negative clipper and the diode is in parallel with the output voltage so it is parallel here we can see uh, the output this di diode is negative biased by this battery or you can say uh, such a way you can say that this negative biased this is all what we discussed now let's read it the third case is as i earlier told both situation occurs in the same circuit that is what we can see in this figure so we have separately studied this case and this case this is the positive by uh, pos uh, po okay positive biased and this is the negative biased we have separately studied this okay now we are implementing this two separately separately into this input wave and suppose this diode conducts only if the anode voltage is greater than vp this diode will conduct only if the cathode voltage is less than minus vb2 vb2 minus vb2 okay so balance all other cases this will not conduct this will conduct for all the input voltages greater than vb1 and this will conduct only if the input voltage is less than vb2 minus vb2 so balance all other cases if this both the diodes don't conduct means output voltage will be same as the input voltage so here it is less than b2 b1 sorry b1 and it is greater than minus vb2 so both these diodes will not context and the output voltage will be same as the input up to here and above this it is greater than b1 so this diode is on so the output voltage will be vb1 up to here again it is less than vb1 so output voltage will be same as the input voltage up to here now it is less than vb2 so this diode will on and according to the Kirchhoff's voltage law, we can now say that v, V0 is the minus VB2 up to here. And it is again greater than VB2 and less than VB1. So it is the output voltage will be same as the input voltage. So the, this is what basically flipping circuits. It's very easy. Just clipping the we are cutting some parts of the input and getting the desired output waveform. So basically, we discussed. Okay, we discussed this clipper circuits with the battery. We discussed without the battery also. We discussed inside the with the battery positive clipper, negative clipper, and the battery positive clipper, negative clipper and the both also we discussed
so this clipper circuits may use we can use this to eliminate the noise by cutting away the noise from the input signal we can use for that purpose and the fabrication of new waveforms from the existing signal so this is all what mean by clipper circuit and clamp clamp clamping circuits will we can made in next video so please go through this thank you